Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful starry seed beads bracelet. It's really easy to make and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make it by yourself. If you want to support me it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas and you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below this video i will be so happy to see your creations down there in description you will find a full list of materials a link to my store and a link for paypal donations to develop this channel thank you so much for watching now i will start with the list of the materials Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are two colors of 11 oz seed beads here. I use a clasp and a jump ring. This is fire line that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters. Uh, here I use size 10 beading needle, scissors and pliers. They are not obligatory, but I use them to go through the difficult beads sometimes. And now I'm going to put two feet of thread on my needle, which is 60 centimeters and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back and I'll show you how to make your first element. First, I'm taking four black beads, okay? I slide those down. I stick my needle in my mat and here I want to make a knot. And I'm making my knot by making here a loop and going twice like that through the loop I've made. And when I'm ready, I pull. And then I could make one more knot just to be sure everything is nice, tight and secure. Okay, I pull again. And now what I do is that I go through the following black bead. I have here a cross of four beads. This is called right angle weave, okay? Now I'm going to take one more black bead and go through the following black like that. Then I'm taking one more black and go through the following black. Then again black. Go here and take the last black bead. Okay, now I have this and now guys in my next step I'm going in this black bead that's sticking out and here I will take three silver beads and then I go in my next bead that's sticking out. So here I have something like a square and I will surround it with silver beads okay silver three silvers and I'm going in this bead that's sticking out turn it in this direction take three okay and go in the sticky Audi okay Then I'm taking again the last three beads and go here in my last black bead, okay? And now I have this and what I want to do is make an additional step, okay? Go through all of those three silver beads here, take one silver and go in the next tree okay go through all of the three beads add one more and go through all of the three beads one more
and the last time. Okay. Here it is. And now guys, I'm going in this bead that's sticking out. Okay. And I'm going to take three black beads and go in the next one that's sticking out. Then again, I will take three seed beads and go in the next one that's sticking out. Three seed beads and go in the next one that's sticking out. Okay guys, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, and here I'm adding my last three beads and pay attention to go through this silver bead and not through this black one. A lot of people make that mistake, that is why I'm telling you. Okay, now I have this and I will go through these two black beads because my goal is to exit out of my next bead that's sticking out. And what I need here are five silver beads okay i have my five here you see and i'm going through the following bead that's sticking out okay always going through the one that's sticking out then again i'm going to take five beads okay and i'm going through the next sticking Bit. Okay, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay, and here I'm adding my last five beads from this row and pay attention, you should go through the black one and tr not through the silver one above it. And now I have an additional step. I want to go through these first two beads here. This will be an additional thread pad and I, I will skip this one here at the center and go through the following two silvers and if you can also through the black one and when I pull you see I have an angle here and then I'm going through the next two beads skip this one that's sticking out and if it doesn't want to go out just pull it a little bit and pull and again go through these two beads skip the one that's in the middle and pull and now guys do this until the end of this row and i'll be back i'll do this off camera and i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here is the last bead that i'm making like an angle here Okay, and what I want to do is make a knot and cut my thread. And in order to do this, I'm making here a loop between the beads where I am. Okay, and I go once, then I go second time through this bead. And then I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from. And I pull. And then I go through my next 
seed bead and I cut my thread cut it as close as possible to my work and then I cut also my tail thread here okay and then guys I will make more and more elements and I'll be back to tell you how to assemble them in a brace okay guys and I made six more elements and this makes them seven in total and now I'm going to show you how to connect them in a bracelet first I need a clasp and I need a jump ring and I will use these black beads okay and I will take one of my elements and what I want to do is go here through some beads and add a new thread this is a new thread that is half an arm span uh, long and I will add it here okay then what I do is that I go through some beads pull it and I want to make a knot okay I showed you before how I'm making a knot I'm making here a loop going twice through the loop I made pulling okay then what I do is that I exit here at the edge of my work okay now I want to cut this tail thread that's sticking out okay you could burn it after that with a zipper if you want okay now you see where I'm exiting at one of the points of my square okay and what I need to add are two black beads then I'm going to take my clasp okay slide it down then I'm going to take two more black beads you see and now guys this is what I have two black beads a clasp and two black beads and I'm going back in circle through this silver bead like that okay and now I have this and I'll go around in circle reinforcing this joint here Okay guys, and now my clasp and my first element are attached. And now what I want to do is go here through all of my beads and exit at the opposite side of my element. Exactly the opposite angle of this one, okay? Okay guys, and now I'm here at the edge and I'm going to take my next element and I will take it the same way. So one of the points of my square inside uh, to be in this direction, okay, towards my other element, okay, and I'm taking one black bead. I'm going here through this silver that's sticking out, okay. Then I'm taking one more silver and I'm going back through this one here. Okay, and pull. And here I have something like right angle weave. And then I will go around reinforcing. Okay. Then guys, what I do is that I go through all of my beads here, take my next element and connect it the same way that I showed you here in my previous element. And I will continue connecting all of my elements. And when I'm at the end of my bracelet, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and when I continued connecting those elements the same way I showed you, this is what I have. 
I have my seven elements connected and now I'm going to show you how to finish your bracelet. Okay, I'm going to take five seed beads. Okay, I will take my jump ring and I will go back in circle through this jump ring and I'm going to reinforce my work. Okay guys, and now I have this and what I want to do is go here through some beads and here I want to make a knot and I'm making my knot by making here a loop and I'm going once and I'm going second time through this loop I've made and I pull, making sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from. Then what I do is that I go through my following bead. And after that, I cut my thread as close as possible to my work. And now guys, my bracelet is ready. Okay guys, and now my bracelet is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. In this way, you will know when I release matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done. And here I have similar ear earrings and I'll link them to them here at the eye icon. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, a link to my store and a link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.